Yo, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another movie reaction and commentary. And today we're going to be hopping into a film called Phone Booth. Now, this one's interesting because I'm seeing the cast here and <laughs> it's a pretty good cast. But what I'm very curious about is the runtime. It's only like an hour and 20 minutes. Now, I'm not, you know, saying anything bad about the runtime or anything it's just interesting i'm wondering what this film is going to be about and uh, before we hop into these films i want to clarify kind of what we've been doing on the other movie reactions that i've been watching we've been looking at a certain aspect of filmmaking that enhances the overall story and what we're looking at is production design settings locations you know whether uh, the information within these locations amplify the story they amplify the characters um, in some cases the locations themselves become characters so if you look at the films that we've watched you can see where the commentary is kind of you know aligning up with and you know I kind of like to clarify this before the video starts so that way you guys know where the commentary is coming from but yeah we've been watching some incredible films that execute those specific details pretty well especially in their own way and in some ways you know um, <laughs> just just unorthodox you know it's just really cool being able to see how art is able to transform and mold using just production design using locations using settings and how they can truly truly morph a story and i think that is really fascinating so again guys if you want to be a part of that if you want to be a part of the discussions and you know asking me on what other aspects of film you would like to look at definitely check out the patreon link below that is the best way to support this channel you can also support this channel by leaving a like comment and subscribe you guys know the drill at the end of the day you don't have to do any of those things just sit back relax get your popcorn and snacks as we hop into phone booth Again, I hope you guys are doing good. If you want to be able to watch and hear all that I have to say about these films, because I do I do actually say a lot. There's like a bonus 15, 20 minutes <laughs> that, you know, I usually have to chop out with commentary uh, for the YouTube. So if you want to be able to listen and hear to all I have to say, check out the Patreon link, get the uncut version, stick up your copy of the film with mine, and you'll have a blast. Jesus, that was intense. <laughs> wow. I'm really curious to see what this movie is about, because, like, what? That was an insane start. <laughs> if this takes place in New York, that's awesome. That's perfect for what we talked about in the intro. We've had other films that we've watched on here that utilizes New York. I mean, we're talking about locations. New York is definitely a character for its location. Meet the man who used to be the final occupant of that booth. Donnie. Donnie, Donnie, this is listen. cool. This is pretty cool. I'm liking how specific this story seems. It feels like it's it's geared to just taking place here or around these phone booths, which is pretty cool. Also, who was talking that monologue? That was crazy. Three people looking for dog walkers. That could be you. Sit, stay. Don't worry, Fluffy. I'll clean up your shit and wipe your ass. You got Damn, dude. Damn. <laughs> All right. Dude is is the douche. Not <laughs> happening. Fuck him. Make him sweat. Uh, he's on a conference call. He could take a while. Um, yeah. Can he call you back? Okay. All right. Bye. Pretty smooth. Man, this dude Colin Farrell is just. <laughs> he's such a great actor, man. <laughs> I know this feels like an older film, but man, it's just so good to see this dude act. He's just, again, one of my favorites. All right, he's getting closer and closer to this phone booth. I am excited to see this interaction. I wonder where this is going to go. Because <laughs> you got somebody like Colin Farrell. I'm just excited to see what this story is going to be about. Also, that was a great shot of his uh, his ring. That's probably going to be important. Please return a sender. Fuck off. There you go, five dollars. Eat the pizza yourself. You look like you could use a good meal. Jesus Christ, dude! Oh my God. Jesus. Also, why is that shot lingering on this dude? What the heck? <laughs> is he a main character? <laughs> Up. Oh, no, you won't. You're going to learn to obey me. Obey you? Who is this? Someone who enjoys watching you. Watching? 
Oh, man. This is creepy. <laughs> this is creepy. Oh, man. Because it's hard to find out where they are. I mean, you're in New York. Everything is so condensed. First, you went. Look, a lot of people in this neighborhood know who I am. Stuart Shepard, 1326 West 51st Street, third floor front. Go mind fuck some other guy. Though. Jesus, man. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> That's creepy. You can see the subtle, like, progression of him being like, what the f <laughs> Oh, snap. Yo, is this movie going to just take place at this film booth? It makes sense. <laughs> but that's really cool and that's perfect for literally like i said what we were talking about in the intro about locations that's cool down i can see every number you pressed let's see if pam is still at work no and i guess I'll yo this dude is trolling him so badly bro damn i'm trying to figure out if there's any other films that are kind of like this don't fucking do this Stu has been lying to you pam hang up now, why would a man who has a cell phone call you every day from a phone booth? Oh, my God. Jeez, man. That is not good. That is not good. Why do you think he invites you to the city hotel? Cheap rooms for cheap girls. Fucking asshole. He's telling you all this so you'll sleep with him. Look, he's lying. Pam, don't. I gotta say, too, I really enjoy the editing style. I feel like for this film, especially since it's so contained, it gives a lot of movement fantasy because you'll never really leave home do you hear what i'm saying damn <laughs> kelly is a home and pam is a motel i'm sure they'll both appreciate that oh, fuck you <laughs> man this is this is really interesting i like this concept there's a lot that you could do with something like this i can see why it's an hour and 20 feels like it's going to be really compact before i call hillary and have you deported to jersey okay you know what you're a fucking ass yeah and you're a dirty skank what are you going to do about it oh you motherfucker you Oh, damn. Golly, man. <laughs> it's cool that the robot's there as well, too. Now, what kind of device has a telescopic sight mounted on it? A freaking sniper? What? He has a rifle on him? And it's staring straight at you. Yeah, how's my fucking hair? <laughs> oh, he's probably going to shoot the robot to prove a point. Two. That won't help you. Oh. Bro, that is crazy. That is insane. <laughs> and I love that this person who's trolling him right now is using New York as a guise for whatever this is. Stand up and be a man. And I love that the phone booth is kind of like metaphorically boxing this guy in. Because that's seriously what's happening to him. Come now, Stu. You can feel it. Concentrate. Concentrate. Take it's cool because these wild edits, similar to, like, I believe the first Jason Bourne movie, the editing just actually fits. I love that it's it, it's parallel with the stories. Eastern Union over here, they're breaking my fucking balls. I gotta live with their shit, but I ain't gonna put up with yours. So I'm saying this one's nice. All right? Hang up the phone. Walk away. <laughs> Yo, look at this. Look at this Yakuza shirt that this guy is wearing. <laughs> this Yakuza. I'm talking about the video game. <laughs> Very angry. Ah, uh, come on. Hey, look. Okay, hang up the phone. Get rid of it. Hang up the fucking phone. Look, we can work this out. Get rid of it. Huh? Hang up the fucking phone. The Yo, this is stressful, bro. <laughs> what the heck? He's going to shoot this dude. Yes. What? Yes. Damn, yo, he really got him. That's crazy. Whatever weapon he has, he has. That's that's some crazy assassination. But I noticed that German porn king, and I noticed that corrupt executive. And I noticed you still. I love how personal this story is, despite being in a large city. No, I'm not a coward like some people I know. Look, you can get away if you run now. I suppose you'll blame me for Leon. No, no, no. I confess I shot him with my fucking phone. Man, where is this gonna go? This is just constant escalation. This is insane. Thousands of people die every day. But you put one dead body in the middle of a busy street and it makes people crazy. Look at these guys. 
This guy's a lunatic, man. This guy's an absolute lunatic. This is like vigilante, but like, it's evil vigilante. <laughs> Look, they didn't see it because it didn't happen. Shut them up. It's dead, but it didn't happen. Then who did it? Mustn't tell him, Stu. Oh my god, this is so frustrating. <laughs> I'm like, man, it's someone <laughs> now just doing some zigzags, man. I would not be in that phone booth. I would zigzag. I would <laughs> start doing juke moves. Come on, man. Does he masturbate on those lonely For nights? For God's sake. Say it. Say it or I will blow him away. This dude is an annoying troll. Oh my God. This guy is a piece of crap. <laughs> Listen, we can make you sympathetic. Sit down with a writer, bang out a book. You know, movie of the week. Get America on your side. Man, this guy needs to understand that this guy does not care. He does not care about any of that. I would have been long gone out that phone booth. <laughs> I would just have darted into the closest corner store. And not telling the truth. I'm in this fucking position because you've got a gun. No. Stuart, that is the sin of spin. Avoidance and deception. I mean, low-key, he is in this position because he has a gun. As much as I don't like people who are cheating, <laughs> this is a little insane. Because <laughs> according to these witnesses, right over here, he has a gun. He has used that gun. And let's pray to God that he doesn't use it again. Captain. Damn. That's a shame. I feel like there is a better way of going about that. <laughs> like, I'm going to be honest with you. How about we just look at the body? <laughs> like... You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like it's obvious that he doesn't have a gun. Come on. I guess they can just assume, but... <laughs> Come out! Just do what they tell you to do! So your wife is a crazy actress stalker and you don't know her. That's an interesting match. But get her out of here, right? I gotta say, I gotta... I, I really love all the different camera angles that they're using to showcase, you know, this film booth. Just the claustrophobic space that's happening here. I bet you've never looked at Kelly the way I am right now. <laughs> Don't you dare fucking hurt her. Don't I dare. How does no one see the red dot on her? How does no one see the red dot on her chest? I wanted to fuck her. And I wanted to sleep with her. <laughs> no. Like, it should be so obvious that someone is forcing this guy to say these things. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Get back! Get back! Hey, 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 back, hey, back. Hey, back. Hey, back. It's about time somebody saw that damn red dot on them. Like, like, come on. <laughs> but I'm happy he saw it. Jesus. This is, this is intense. <laughs> You murder a guy and you forget where you stashed your gun. Why don't you lift the plastic ceiling panel and feel around? <sighs> wow. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh, that was not. That was that sucked. That's not cool, man. I'm so mad. <laughs> Come on, Stu, you're in a perfect position. How do you figure? You get to choose between them, Pamela or Kelly, or should I choose for you? One of them can take your place. Dude, if like like if if he kills one of them, that de like that destroys this entire thing. So it's like, what the heck? <laughs> what are you doing? Look, listen, listen, please listen to me. No more delays, Stuart. Look, look, I, I, I'm on my knees begging you not. It's about time he is being smart about this, man. Cause what the heck? Our cell phone. Don't push me, Stu. Mm. I'm not gonna yep. let that happen to you. There you go. Come on. Come on. Y'all need to talk through... I don't know, man. Like, I don't know. Wiggle your eyebrows or something. <laughs> she gave us a number. And I got my best men working on bringing him down. There you go. There you go. Love that. Love that. <laughs> okay, damn. This dude was just getting away with everything. I'm so frustrated. <laughs> this dude is just, he's camping. <laughs> he's, 
He is camping, man. Nobody likes campers. This is time being nice to people who aren't any use to them. These are my crimes. Stuart, I know your crimes. Tell them. What exactly is this crime other than that? I'm interested. Is there something that we literally just don't know that the film just hasn't told us yet? That would be kind of cool. But if it's just this, then it's, pre it's petty. Kelly, looking at you now, I'm ashamed of myself. All right. Uh, damn, his acting is so good. His acting is so damn good, man. I don't even understand it. it reminds me of how I failed you. And, uh, go. I don't want to give you up. I want to make things better, but it may not be my choice. Then. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Dude, his acting is carrying this, man. Holy crap. Dude. Oh, my God. Yo, God. <laughs> what? Holy crap. How did he tap into that like that? Jesus. Damn, did he really get capped? Oh man. Damn, the police shot him. Oh my god. This night. What's his condition? Critical. He's lost a lot of blood. Get him down here now. I don't want nobody dying on me. Alright. Yeah, what? So is he alive? Vice fine, alright? I try not to sit up. Woo! Oh, shout out to the cop then. Whoa! Oh, man. Oh, thank goodness, man. Yo, I was like, yo, why? Hey. I want to stand up. I got him. Man, what if it was the damn pizza guy this entire time? This is, it's probably the pizza guy. Yeah, he, he was down there trying to deliver me a pizza 10 minutes before I got the call. Wow. Oh, fuck off. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. This dude. This guy is insane. How do you... What? Like, what? You go through all of that? <laughs> this was, a, this was a, a cool concept, but damn. Oh, God, what's about to happen? What's about to happen? Italian. Are you kidding me? Who the heck is this, man? How did the cops not see that? How did all of like, what, 50 cops not see this guy rub his shoes? Are you kidding me? Hello? All right, everybody, and that is the end to Phone Booth. All right, everybody, we just got done watching Phone Booth. This one was really, really cool. This was really cool. I mean, this took exactly what I said in the intro and made a whole film about it. <laughs> You know, again, looking at locations and how they can morph a story. This literally did that, you know, with the story taking place within this phone booth and giving us a metaphorical representation of our character and just him being honest with himself. Now, <laughs> it took some extreme circumstances like a rifle being aimed at you and your wife. <laughs> but yeah, it's... It's, it's, there's a lot that you could pick apart with this script. Now, I'm interested in what you guys have to say about this because there were several points where I caught myself being noticeably frustrated. Now, I'm not sure if that was intended or maybe that has to do with something. Like, maybe there's just... Maybe the script wasn't as tight as it could be. There was a little bit of, a, like, loose ends here and there. Um, it's up to y'all. It's up to y'all. Like, like... You guys have to let me know. Am, am I just, am I just being an audience member? <laughs> am I just being uh, uh, the effect of the cause right here? Is that what's meant to happen, or was there genuinely some, uh, some things that could have been written a little bit tighter? Because, yeah, uh, just <laughs> it's just insane, man. Like, I don't know. I feel like when it comes to writing something like this. It really has to be just compact. It has to be so compact. And I really got to commend the fact that, I mean, they were first off able to actually do that and incorporate New York City around that. I think that was really cool. But man, guys, can we talk about Colin Farrell too? <laughs> like, yeah. This dude was acting his entire, 
off, man. Like, he was going off. I'm not going to say, like, he carried the film or anything, but it kind of makes sense considering that, you know, we were spending the most time with him. It's not that we could even see the guy on the other end of the phone. So, yeah, I mean, this was a really cool way to see Colin Farrell just flex his acting capabilities. And I genuinely loved it. When he was doing that, that breaking down sequence, I felt that. I really, really felt that. It kind of, it brought me back into the... Uh, the the reality of things because the entire situation is absolutely insane it's absurd but just that moment right there it almost like grounded things back to reality uh for me so yeah guys this was really really cool again i love that this focused primarily on just one location uh, but utilizing the city of new york and just everything around it and i love the the editing as well too at first i was like oh yeah it's just you know the 2000 editing style and everything but it genuinely does help out when you're able to connect several dots at the same time and it does help with just the pacing of things i know this was only like an hour and 30 minutes but man this was good this was a nicely compact film i feel like if it went any longer it probably would have overstayed its welcome so it's cool to see a director kind of know the pacing know when to execute certain things that's always that's always great so guys i'm interested in hearing what your thoughts are about this i could see how some of y'all probably might not enjoy a film like this but for me if I were to just forgive my frustration it's a pretty damn good film and it's actually kind of fun to just you know <laughs> to kind of watch it's really enjoyable and like I said it's pretty quick it's like an hour and 30 so guys I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, let me know in the comics about what you guys think about this film did you like it did you did you love it did you hate it what do you think about the location um, what are your thoughts about the location and how it transformed our character? How the character was able to transform through the forcing of the circumstances here? I'm interested in hearing it down below. So like always, guys, stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started. Purple jacket, pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches because they give them free. Just like my time. Hair pulled back in the back.